Hello. In this tutorial, what we'll be doing is creating our very first scene in Phaser. So up till this point, we just had the game loading and there was this bluish gray background. Um, but video games normally go through several different scenes. You usually have a splash scene at the beginning, and then you have a scene for the company or the particular game. Then you would have a main menu scene. When, then you'd have a button where you click it and you go to the game. When the game ends, you click a button, you might come back to the menu or start it over again. So there's particular different scenes that you'd want to go through. So today we're going to work on creating a single scene, but something that's generic enough that we can then use as a model for several scenes. So this is where we were last time, and we updated our GitHub repository with all our icons and our updated comments. And if you open up your web page with your game in it, the icon now loads and our game always goes in the middle of our screen and will always auto adjust to the size of whatever our screen happens to be, even on a small little device like an iPhone. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the process of adding a scene to our code. Our HTML file, we're not going to change anymore. We're just going to leave it just as it is right now. Under our JavaScript file, we have a single one called game.js. We're going to create a second one in here, and we're going to call it splash scene. So we're going to just go up to the add. So we're going to call it splash scene.js. So at the moment it's empty and we're just going to leave it that way for now and we're going to go back to our game scene. So in here we have a couple things that we need to have to add because remember this is the starting point where our code begins. So since we now have this new file, we have to let the computer know that that file exists and it should go and get it. So even before we declare our variable that we're using for configuration, we're going to import in that JavaScript file and we're going to reference it with this import statement called splash scene. Once we have that, we're then going to create a variable that then holds this file. So we're going to create a variable called splash scene and it's an instance of this thing that we just imported. So any files that we add into this splash scene.js are now going to exist inside this variable here. Once we have the variable, then we can go ahead and we can add it to our game. So you remember that near the bottom here, we have a variable called game, and it takes our configuration file and loads a new phaser game into this. So we're going to, right after, I'm going to delete this because we don't need this anymore. Right after we declare our variable game, we're then going to take game and it has a property called scene and we're going to add a scene. And the scene we're gonna add is this splash scene, which came from this variable right here. And we're going to reference it with a key and we're gonna use the exact same name for the key just to keep it simple. You'll notice the key is inside a single quotations. It must be that way. And notice in my comments, I put a note here saying, remember every single key you're going to use must be totally unique within your entire game, all of the files, okay? So you should never create another reference another variable and use this same key or the computer's going to get confused. Once we have that variable set up, we're then going to start a particular scene at the very beginning of our game. And since we only have one, the scene we're going to start with is this splash scene. So notice you don't use the variable name, you use this reference key and that's what they are for. So 
This is a good beginning. Later on, when we add more scenes, we'll have to follow through the same thing. Create a JavaScript file that is a scene, import it, reference it with a variable, and then take that variable and add it as a particular scene here. You'll only need one of these because you can only start at one particular scene at a time. So inside splash screen, you can then move to a different scene. So that's all we need to do in game. Now we're going to go to splash scene. So in splash scene, we're going to have to add a whole bunch of different things. And I'm just going to copy and paste all the code in and then go through and explain it. So at the very top, you'll notice I have the exact same global declaration to phaser so that JavaScript knows that that's a global variable. I then have my standard comment and I'm telling people that this is a particular scene. So our code begins with our splash scene because that's what this one is and it's referred to as a class. If you don't understand object-oriented programming, just sort of accept what I'm going to talk about. So inside class, the first thing we're going to do is have this constructor. So we need to extend, that's what this stands for, our Phaser comes with this scene library and we're extending our particular scene by using the code that somebody else has written. And what we're going to do is we're going to just run Phaser's scene constructor code first. That's what this super does. There are several built-in functions already in a standard scene from Phaser and we're going to use each one of these when we're having a scene. Initialize, that's what this one does, just gets the scene up and running. And we're going to add this line of code that says this, and you're going to see that particular name show up often. You'll notice that it's blue because it's a reserved word. So this refers to the splash scene class. Okay, so everything in this file, that's the this. So this, our particular scene, which extends phasers code of it, it has a camera and the main camera we're going to set the background color to. So this is a um, representation of a color in RGB format and it's actually going to be black. So our very first scene that shows up is actually going to be have a black background. So this bluish color is not going to show up anymore. So initialize are certain variables that you would like to preload or things that you would like to get set up even before the scene shows up. So after initialize, there's this other function called preload and we're just going to print out to the console, like we used to do over here, what scene we're currently on just for debugging purposes so that we can keep track of things. So we're just going to say that we're on the splash scene. There's also a create and an update function. We're going to talk about those later. Um, at the moment, we're just going to leave those blank. And then at the very bottom, we have this export default and our variable name splash scene again. So that should be everything that we need to have get this set up. Now that we're done, you should be able to hit run. And you'll notice over here it said splash scene. So that's good. And we open this up. You'll notice our black background showed up for a second and then went away. And that's exactly what we were looking for. Okay. So at the moment, that's all we're going to do. Um, in their next episode, what we'll do is we'll actually create a second scene and we'll add some more. Um, variables and a background image and stuff to this particular scene.